Please light your thoughts on the missing nuclear device on the Nanda Devi Parvat. Does it still exist? Mm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Where is this Nanda Devi Parvat? Let's take a look at the map. Let's uh, put the map on the screen. Let's find this mountain, Nanda Devi. So I think Nanda Devi is the second tallest mountain peak in India. The tallest one is Kanchanjunga. And Nanda Devi is somewhere in northern India, in the Himalayan region, in the near Rishikesh. Okay, let's just search for it. It's somewhere in this region. Nanda Devi. And here we go. Here it is. So this is the mountain peak, Nanda Devi. You can see it on the satellite image, which will not make a lot of sense over here, but there it is. This is the mountain peak, the second highest mountain peak in India, right? So what happened here? So as you can see, it is very close to Chinese-occupied Tibet. Yes. So what's the story behind this missing nuclear device? So what happened is this. Okay, so this is something that happened in 1965. So let us put this into okay let me just put keep that on the on the screen the map so that you understand what's happening so what happened in 1965 to put things in context uh, the 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 magnificent prime minister of india the greatest prime minister ever mr nehru very sadly and regrettably died in 1964 mr nehru died in may 1964 and mr shastri became prime minister of india mr shastri as we know died in january 1966 so this happened this entire matter happened in 1965 when Mr. Shastri was the Prime Minister of India. So the Chinese had uh, tested a nuclear weapon for the first time in 1964 in Chinese-occupied uh, territory, Xinjiang, so-called Xinjiang, etc. So what the Americans... The Americans were obviously concerned about this. So they wanted to spy on Chinese... Uh, military activities, nuclear activities in Chinese-occupied Tibet, Xinjiang, that region. And uh, so they entered into some kind of agreement with the government of India that they would place an observing, a monitoring station, some monitoring devices, etc. on top of the Nanda Devi mountain, at the summit of the mountain in India. And the Nanda Devi mountain is nearly 8 kilometers, almost 8 kilometers tall, slightly less than 8 kilometers. So from there, you could see deep into Chinese occupied territory, maybe 50 kilometers away, where this entire thing was happening, right? So what happened is that in 1965, a team of Indian and American mountaineers climbed up the Nanda Devi mountain. What were they carrying? They were carrying uh, surveillance equipment. So there was an antenna or two antennas and there were nuclear powered devices, plutonium powered radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Okay, So I think there were seven plutonium capsules and the, the thermoelectric generator and some surveillance equipment that would be powered by the, the radioactive radioisotope thermoelectric generator. So this attempt to scale the mountain was done by a team of 14 American mountaineers, I think, and a bunch of Indian mountaineers too, because the Indians also had to be involved. This is Indian territory. We need to see what they're doing. This was attempted sometime in 1965. The attempt failed. They tried to climb the mountain, and while they were climbing the mountain, they were high up, I believe, someplace, and there was a blizzard, a massive storm and they had no option but to go back down, otherwise they would have frozen to death. And the storm was so severe, they had to leave the equipment on the mountain. So they left the equipment, the radioisotope thermoelectric generators, the plutonium capsules, etc. They left it on a ledge or platform somewhere on the mountain, and they went down, and they were able to make it down alive. They, they did not lose any lives, right? So this happened in 1965. The next year, in the spring of 1966, after the death, death of Mr. Shastri, the same American climbers returned to the mountain. They climbed it up again, and they knew where they had kept the equipment. And what they found in the spring of 1966 is that the equipment was missing. So they surmised that there, were, there must have been an avalanche, you know, on the mountain, which swept away all the equipment. This happens. 
uh, in the Himalayas, avalanches are common. In the, on the Danda Devi mountain also, avalanches are reasonably common. So they surmised that there was an avalanche while they were not there and all the equipment was swept down somewhere downhill because of this avalanche. Then there was another attempt in 1967, which is said to have been a partial success. I have no idea what that means. And then there was a third attempt again in 1967 on a different mountain. This time it was on the Nanda Kot mountain. So Nanda Devi is here. Where is Nanda Kot? It's here. If you can see, there is a different mountain called Nanda Kot. It is a, it is a slightly smaller mountain, not as high as Nanda Devi. So the third attempt, which they did on this smaller mountain, was a success. They were able to put the equipment there and it worked and they were able to monitor whatever the Chinese were doing. Right? So all of this happened in the 1960s. It was all secret. In 1978, the Indian Prime Minister Moraji Desai mm -hmm. revealed everything. Uh, this is what the Americans did. He was very strongly anti-US, anti-whatever. Yeah? So that's what happened. That's how the story came in, out into the public domain. Because Mr. Moraji Desai revealed what had happened, what had transpired in the 1960s. Now, some people say that because of this, so, so the question is, first of all, what happened to the missing equipment? The equipment that was placed on a ledge or a platform or some flat surface on the mountain in 1965, when they came back the next year, it had disappeared. So the official story is that there was an avalanche which would have swept it down and maybe it's lying somewhere frozen in the frozen uh, in the ice and the snow of the mountain somewhere downhill. And it's a, such a big mountain, it's very hard to to find the equipment. So one interpretation or one uh, scenario is that the equipment was lost in an avalanche. It was swept down, downhill and it's still lying somewhere there. The second plausible scenario is that the Indian government later on sent some, sent some climbers quietly and retrieved the equipment for research analysis or whatever. So th that's the two possibilities. Either the Indian government acquired the equipment secretly or the equipment was actually lost what if the equipment was lost and it's still lying somewhere there is it a problem well let's understand what plutonium is plutonium is the thing is the element that is in the radioisotope thermoelectric generator that was supposed to power the 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 devices the surveillance equipment so plutonium is a radioactive element. Plutonium-238 is what was used in the radioactive isotope. It has a half-life of 88 years, which means in 88 years' time, half of the plutonium will have decayed. So it is the heat source in the thermoelectric generators. The actual more common plutonium is plutonium-239, which is the primary fissile isotope in nuclear weapons. It has a half-life of 24,000 years. That is going to last forever, essentially. And then there is plutonium Plutonium-240 and 241 also. So the, the plutonium we are talking about, that we are concerned about, is the plutonium-238 that was present in those capsules and in the devices. Now, in case it is still lying around on the mountain, you know, somewhere in the foothills of the mountain, the thing is this. This region is the catchment area from where the Ganga gets its waters. The, there are... There are these big mountain peaks here. These are the Himalayas. There are glaciers that over time slowly melt. And then there are these major rivers here, the Alakrananda, the Bhagirathi, that feed the river Ganga. This all happens in, uh, not the Rit Rishikesh, but Deva Prayag. I think it's in Deva Prayag that the Alakrananda and the Bhagirathi meet together. Here it is. So you have one river, which is the Alakrananda. The other one is the Bhagirathi. They get together here and then they are called the Ganga. So it is in Deva Prayag that the Ganga River actually takes shape and then it comes downwards into Rishikesh and then down towards uh, the down towards mainland India and so on and so forth. So even the Alaknanda, the Bhagirathi and other rivers, they all get their waters from the ice melt and all that in this overall region. So if there is plutonium lying around, that could be a very dangerous thing. If the capsules break open for whatever reason, plutonium is extraordinarily toxic, extremely toxic. It, it First of all, it can kill people through its radiation. Secondly, it can kill people through heavy metal poisoning. And very small amounts of plutonium are enough to kill people. So if the plutonium is still lying around and if, it, if the capsules break open, then they could leach into the groundwater 
Yeah, they could contaminate the rivers, or the, the waters that flow into the Alaknanda and the Bhagirathi and other rivers that feed the Ganga. That could be a disaster for India because millions of people live along the banks of the Ganga. Millions of people get their water from the Ganga and so on. It, it flows all the way down into Bangladesh as the Padma River. Yeah, so that could be a massive, massive disaster. So in case the plutonium is still there, I think something needs to be done about it. I believe the Indian government every year periodically tests the waters or the snow or whatever in this region for radiation. That's what I I hear. I'm not sure. So we don't know if the plutonium is still lying around there or maybe the Indian government may have retrieved it at some point in time. These things probably will never be revealed to the public for the next few decades. But yeah, that is the story. That is as far as I know. So that's what happened in 1965, 1966, 1967. The Americans wanted to keep an eye on the Chinese and India was also definitely uh, agreeable to that. And so this entire episode happened. All right. So that's the story about the missing nuclear device on the Nanda Devi mountain in northern India.